Hi, Abby here. I'm going to be journeying into the heart of the Dalai Lama today. I'm curious to see what we'll find in there. And I'm going to go ahead and relax now and get connected. And see if there's anything the Dalai Lama would like for us to know even. Well, I'll say the first thing I experience is sadness and heaviness and depth like a very very heavy weight a very heavy weight I feel like I'm going to sink to the bottom of the depths and I'll be sinking for a very very long time and I'll never truly reach any type of surface any type of layer of, of, of ground any anything to stand on, I will just continue to go into the depths. Does this mean the Dalai Lama is dark and evil? No. This simply means the Dalai Lama holds a lot of deep uh, feelings within himself, okay? And the deep feelings are on this level. Some of the brightest, most influential most loving people can also be extremely deep and the depths can weigh heavily upon them but let's see what else we can find out here it's hard to it's hard to go to different avenues mainly because the the deep aspect is really hard to disconnect from okay hmm I'm gonna, I'm actually swimming. I'm literally swimming away from the heavy weight and I'm going upward to see what else we can learn at a different frequency level. I see a man that is multiple men. <laughs> He, what, what could be described as, here's the physical me, here's the slightly less physical me, here's the even slightly less physical me, and on and on and on and on and on, until it's more and more and more, like I could see through the mirage, and there's just so many of these duplicates, and the duplicates kind of create then the physical one, and the physical one has eyes that are looking off into a silvery horizon, actually, the horizon looks like it is silver in color. It is a very long time, and I feel like a statue who has been standing for a very long time and looking across the horizon. For some reason, I want to break this statue down because it's, it's outgrown itself. I mean, the statue is actually... Um, it doesn't fit anymore. It's like, I need a size large shirt, but I'm insisting on the extra small. Um, it doesn't fit anymore. It does not suit. It's not a, a healthy balance, actually. So I'm going to break this statue down so we can see something else here, okay? The Dalai Lama, a part of his consciousness comes to me and says, why did you break this statue down? And I say, because my friend this statue needs to be broken down it is out of tune with the frequency shifts of the planet and the work here is complete he knows this he knows this deep within his heart that his work here is complete but there is a collective need for him and because there is this collective need that is now forcing him into the role for as long as the collective needs him therefore the statue will remain He is very wise and he talks to me about the role of the statue and how long will it take for a collective to know that they have outgrown the statue. How long will it take? It, part of his soul is very, believe it or not, ready to move on. It's, and because I will define it as withered and dried out. And when things are withered and dried out, it means they're ready to move on. They're, they're hungry for new experiences. But it's not necessarily that he's hungry or that he's um, 
he's at peace he's at peace uh, but there's something that needs to change here I ask him who are you he smiles at me <laughs> he even kind of laughs a little bit because we both know that question <laughs> the who are you question because who are you I mean truly you could be a billion and one things he could say I am the Dalai Lama he could say I am God he could say I am a grain of sand he could say I am a tree he could say I am Abby he could say he is anything and all of the answers would be correct just as I could say, I am the Dalai Lama, I am God, I am the tree, I am that star, I am literally everything because I am everything. We all are a part of each other, a part of everything. <laughs> You're super awesome. He, he shows me the statue has been rebuilt and the statue is broken. And his warm heart is at peace with either position. And he shows me that he has many identities or personas all over. Um, so he's getting plenty of uh, experiences to satisfy his hungers. <laughs> and he winks at me. And I say, well, you're in a frequency bracket where you're not fully immersed in what I'm feeling with that statue. So you're actually slightly disconnected from it, which is giving you the ability to keep moving without feeling that weight. That doesn't mean the weight is not there. And I say you need to take notice that the weight is still there. It's like the tree fell in the forest. Nobody heard the tree fall, so did it actually fall? Yes, it did. And I say the weight is still there. Whether you want to acknowledge it or not, it is still there. And you can change at any time. And if you want to change, now the human race has to change too. And perhaps you, that's the only way for the statue to finally break. He says, how, Abby, will I change? And I say, how will Abby change? How will anybody actually change? We just do things differently. He smiles and he kind of chuckles a little bit. Hmm. He feels very connected to every soul that looks up to him and w works with his energy in order to find the strength to accomplish their own dreams because a lot of human beings have not learned how to believe in themselves so they need to believe in him. And I say, well, that's not giving permission to people to start working on themselves this world has to start realizing it comes from within ourself. We can't have idols anymore. We can't have things to worship because we can only worship ourselves. Truly, we can only love ourselves. We can only find out who we are by going inward. And how are we going to help the human race learn that if we continue to hold their hand and be what they need us to be for them to be a better person? because they're just not strong enough. Hmm. He is really sweet. He is super gentle and warm. <laughs> he shows me a frequency of light that he is ascending to, to someone who is not certain if they are a child, a teenager, or an adult. But they watch him and they listen to his words. And it helps them to solidify their meaning. They just simply don't have the means to do it without his place holder. Hmm. I say Dalai Lama and I bow to him and I say, you'll always know what is right within your heart. And I want to thank you for sharing this beautiful message with myself and with everybody today. You're, you're really wonderful to connect with. Thank you. He turns into a golden sunlight and he smiles within the golden light. He is patient. 
and he is at peace. And that's all. <laughs> that was really neat. I hope you enjoyed that. I want to thank you all for watching. If any of you are interested in connecting with me one-on-one -on -one for a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I'm also on Patreon at abbynormalswisdomquest. I hope you all have a great day.